Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Tonight, I am going to make a lean and green, and it is called Parmesan Chicken and Garlic Cauli Rice Skillet. I am adapting this recipe from a keto recipe that I found. I've had to eliminate some of the fats, but I will uh, do a link to that recipe and show my modifications in the comments below. The first thing the recipe calls for is to combine our spices and then we're going to uh, dredge our chicken. I've got one pound of chicken tenders right here. We'll um, combine our spices and Parmesan cheese, dredge our chicken, and then we uh, saute it in a cast iron skillet. So that's the first step. It calls for four tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Now, Parmesan cheese on the Optavia 5-in-1 program is considered a condiment. This recipe makes three servings. So in total, when it's all said and done, there will be six tablespoons of Parmesan cheese involved. So that is two condiments each for each serving. So I'm gonna do my two uh, Three, four, a little bit more. Okay, and then we add, we add a one teaspoon of paprika. All right, got my handy dandy measuring spoons. One teaspoon of paprika. And then, one teaspoon of garlic powder. And then half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Now I'm counting the remainder of the seasonings in this in this recipe as one condiment. So when all is said and done, this recipe is going to be one leaner, three green, and three condiments. Then we do one quarter teaspoon of onion powder. And then a quarter teaspoon of salt and pepper. Then we're gonna mix these spices together with the Parmesan cheese. All right, so I've mixed the spices and the Parmesan cheese together. And now I'm going to uh, dredge the chicken and put it in the skillet. And then we'll put that on the stove. Remember when you told me Something and you said you're done pretending that fate is patient. Go run away, get it out of your system. Come back when you're older. Go find a place where you can't be the victim. And come back when you're older. Go catch the storm within. I have my chicken tenders uh, dredged in the spices and Parmesan cheese, and actually there's still quite a bit left over. So I'm gonna get this on the stove and uh, brown this up. All right, I'll try to move this around a little bit. Now, the keto recipe actually called for um, three tablespoons of butter. I put in one teaspoon of the light butter but I am gonna go ahead and spray the top here with some olive oil spray. This smells really good. All 
All right, we'll come back when this is um, a little bit more done. Okay, let's flip these over. Oh my, I think I might have uh, cooked those a little bit too long on that side. It'll be all right though. I, uh, in the meantime, while this was cooking, um, the recipe calls for a 12 ounce ah, bag of cauliflower rice, frozen cauliflower rice, and but they want you to cook it. So I stuck that in the microwave while this chicken was browning. And then we'll be able to go on to the next step. Okay, now we're gonna transfer the chicken onto a plate and cover it with um, foil. teaspoon of the light butter and now I'm adding a teaspoon of minced garlic. I'm just going to let that brown for half a minute here and then I'm going to add in my bag of rice cauliflower that I cooked in the microwave. Now when I started this recipe I um, told you it was going to be three greens. Um, it is only 12 ounces of cooked uh, rice cauliflower, so it is, um, it's only uh, four greens total. So you're gonna have to find uh, maybe a side salad or something um, to fill out your three greens. Right now I'm adding two tablespoons of chicken stock. Now I'm also supposed to add parsley, which I thought I had parsley, but apparently I do not. But I think it'll be okay without it. In the meantime, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 375. Right now I add in one tablespoon of grated Parmesan and a dash of cayenne pepper. I am using Creole seasoning, Tony Cacheras, that has cayenne pepper in it. I'm gonna mix this around. And then we're gonna add our chicken back on top and top it with mozzarella cheese and bake it in the oven. All right, I'm gonna add the chicken back over the cauliflower rice. I think I'm gonna stick some of this juice in it too. I'm going to add a quarter cup of reduced fat mozzarella cheese on top. And then I'm going to stick it in the oven just until the cheese is melted. Looks like it's going to be delicious. And here's the finished product. Let's uh, get this dished up on a plate and I will tell you how it tastes. I'm going to measure out the cauliflower. Um, I'm gonna have two greens of cauliflower. That is uh, one grain of cauliflower cooked from frozen is 3.17 ounces. So I'm gonna move my chicken over here so I can get at the cauliflower. So two greens would be 6.34 ounces. So I'm gonna, Got my scale here, zero it out. And then I'm gonna need a spoon. And we'll, let me move this. Um, the pan is a little bit 
hot. So. Okay, I'll, I'll get 6.34 ounces, and then I'll measure out six ounces of chicken, and I'll show you how it looks when I get it on the plate. So this was my first time making this recipe. And like I said, I adapted it from a keto recipe. Uh, the things that I would do different next time, even though this does look absolutely fabulous, um, I would probably do two uh, packages of frozen riced cauliflower. Um, either that or I might add some sliced mushrooms, saute those up with the cauliflower. I think that would also be great. I'm gonna have this and I will report back as to how delicious it is. Okay, so I finished my dinner and it was indeed super delicious. I like my idea of adding sauteed mushrooms to it next time. I think that would give it a kick. So not everyone in my family is on the Optavia 5-in-1. I've told you before my daughter is, um, but she doesn't live with me. Uh, my son and my boyfriend uh, are not on Optavia. And so what I would do to modify this recipe, uh, I keep uh, bags of cooked white rice in the freezer. And so when I'm having cauliflower rice, I'll throw one of them in the microwave and um, then serve their uh, entree, their, their chicken or whatever it is I'm making over white rice. And that's how I've kind of learned to adapt my cooking to fit this diet. So to recap, this entree is one lean, two greens, one healthy fat, and three condiments. So how I account for that is I had five ounces of cooked chicken breast, and that was to account for the mozzarella cheese that I sprinkled on top. I had two servings of the cauliflower rice, and I will have to have one green later on today. I like to have a snack on cut up uh, red peppers. I like that at the end of the night, maybe with some Walden Farms uh, dressing. However, the recipe had three condiments, so I will not be using the Walden Farms dressing tonight. But all in all, I think it ended up really good. So if you like this video, please like it below and subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell so you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. I would love for you to join me on this journey. I have a ways to go and I could use some accountability partners. So please stay tuned. I'll be posting new recipes and fueling hacks to come. Comment below if there's anything you would like to see, and hopefully I will see you next time.